Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to watch Trace of Torn's life. In this video, you're gonna see me cook a pot of neck bone soup. It's been kind of cold here in Florida. The past few days we've had temperatures in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Um, to me, it's cold. <laughs> My husband work outside at least 70% of his day and he requested that I make this neck bone soup. So what I did, I rinsed the neck bones off. These are actually smoked neck bones, just a small little pack, and I'm gonna begin to boil them. So while they're boiling, I went ahead and I chopped up my vegetables, the onions, the celery, the carrots, and the green bell peppers. And if you notice that I chopped them kind of bulky, I don't like my vegetables too thin, because I want it to be kind of hearty. You know, I want it kind of large. Um, I don't like them too thin when I eat soup, so I make them kind of hearty, kind of thick and big. So I went ahead and chopped up the vegetables while the actual neck bones are boiling. So here it is, the onions, bell peppers, celery, and carrots. So after I chop up the vegetables, then I go ahead and I take two large potatoes or three medium potatoes, it depends, or four small. I rinse them off really, really well, and then I peel them. After I peel them, I chop them up kind of small, and then I let them soak in a bowl of water. And then I take a chicken breast and rinse it really, really well, and I go ahead and I chop that up as well, um, kind of small. I like to add chicken breast to it to um, stretch it and also to get the the fat, the grease from the, the chicken into the, the soup. And I also give it a, a good taste too, a different taste when you add chicken to it. But it's your preference if you wanna add chicken to it or not. And here I'm just checking the water level and I am adding more water to the pot because it really takes a long time for these um, neck bones to become tender. Sometimes you have to boil them for about at least an hour. So a few minutes later, I'm just testing them just to see if they tender. And when they kind of hard to come off the fork, that means they're not done. They're not tender enough. So you just have to keep letting them boil until they get tender. Okay, so I waited several minutes and I'm checking them again. And as you can see, I'm trying to lift them up and it's sliding right off of the fork. I can't hardly even pick them up and they fall on them apart. They're breaking into pieces. So this means that they are done. Now this is where I add the chicken breast. I'm gonna add the chicken breast to the pot of neck bones and I'm gonna let it boil for at least 10 minutes. It don't take long at all for the chicken breast to cook through. So 10 minutes is about all you're gonna need to let it boil. So after about three minutes, you wanna go ahead and add your vegetables, your onions, your bell peppers, your celery, and your carrots to the pot. And you want to let it boil for about three minutes. You don't want to let it boil too long because you don't want your vegetables to be mushy. You want your vegetables to be, you know, whole and hearty. You don't want them, you know, crunchy, but you don't want them mushy. And then you want to add your seasoning of choice. My choice is Body of Complete. I like this seasoning because it has very low sodium in it. You don't want to add extra sodium or salt to your because it has the neck bones. The neck bones can be very salty. The next season will be the ground turmeric. I like to add this to it because I like the taste that it gives. And also turmeric has a lot of different health benefits to it. I'm not gonna get into details with that, but you can you know Google it to find out on your own, but it has a really good taste. Um, as you can see, when I cook, I just add seasoning to it. I don't measure at all um, when I do my seasoning. I like to season to the taste, so it's up to you how much you want to add to it. Okay, 
Okay, so after that boils, then you wanna go ahead and add your potatoes to the pot. And once you add all your potatoes to the pot, you can go ahead and kind of stir it a little bit so that you can mix the potatoes in so that they can kind of get down within the soup so that the hot water, well, the hot um, soup can start cooking through the potatoes. So this is what I do. I just kind of stir it around so that it can hurry up and um, kind of cook through. I do not let the potatoes sit long. I let them boil for an additional three minutes and then I just go ahead and just cover it up and turn the stove off because I don't like my potatoes to get mushy. I don't want to be mashed potatoes in the pot. And if you let it sit in the heat long enough, the heat will continue to cook through the um, potatoes. And look at this soup. Mm -mm -mm. It looks good. Do you want a bowl of this? Don't it look good? Yes, it look good. Clayton is gonna love this soup here. Yeah. He's gonna enjoy a bowl of this tonight. Nice and hot. The vegetables still look hearty and whole. They're not mushy. It looks good. It looks good. What do you think? Drop a comment down in the description box and let me know whether you think about this net bone soup. <laughs>